As the legendary Temple of King Solomon is important in Judaism, Christianity and Freemasonry, it has been a central element in many conspiracy theories. Early Masonic writers believed that their order was established at the building of the Temple of Solomon. King Solomon, King Hiram of Tyre and Master Craftsman Hiram Abiff would have been the first Grand Masters. These writers also believed that Freemason orders, symbolic degrees and initiation rituals were first developed at the Temple and passed down through the centuries to the modern Freemasons with little change. Modern Masonic writers don't take it so literally but insist that the symbolism has spiritual importance. According to the entry for Temple of Solomon in the Masonic Dictionary, each lodge is and must be a symbol of the Jewish temple, each master in the chair representing the Jewish king, and every Freemason a personation of the Jewish workman. Anti-Masonic writers interpret things differently. Some say that Solomon, Hiram and Hiram Abiff were occultists, each possessing a single syllable of a sacred and powerful word of God that they used in a ritual when the temple was finished. The actual word is said to have been lost because Abiff was murdered before the completion of the temple. According to conspiracy theorist Amitak Stanford, two of the syllables are K-I-R and Wa, but the third is unknown and cannot be discovered. This is fortunate as he claims the word can summon the power of darkness associated with the Anunnaki elite and the Demiurge. Some Christian conspiracists claim that Jesus destroyed the Temple of Solomon and annulled the authority of the Levitical priests who lived there. So the connection between Freemasonry and the Temple is evidence of occult chicanery and an anachronistic devotion to the First Covenant of the Old Testament. Supposedly, the modern Masons seek to rebuild the Temple, removing the Islamic Dome of the Rock currently standing in its place, to serve as a seat for the Antichrist. To accomplish this, the Freemasons and Illuminati are supposedly manipulating events in the Middle East to lead to a catastrophic war, clearing the ground for a new construction project and a satanic, illuminated Christ figure. Meanwhile, author Philip Gardner has argued that Solomon's temple never actually existed but was a metaphor and religious symbol instead. He asserts that the technology to create stone buildings of such magnificence did not exist at the time.